third year student. I'm Cindy Dahalan from Alaya Student College. I'm an assistant teacher and uh, today I'm going to take a lesson in Plus 6 English Plus Paper. And <coughs> it's lesson 1, page number 2 and section B. So first I'm going to read the passage. And the passage is about Tarun's first day at school. My first day at school was very interesting. I was going to school with my father in a rickshaw. We reached school after 15 minutes. My father said goodbye and left me at the school gate. I went in and found that everyone had gone to class. I walked into my classroom and find a, found a seat. After some time, a teacher come, came and warmly greeted us. I found the students very friendly in the new class. Well, from this passage, we can understand that it, the passage is about Tarun's first day at school and what all the certain things happened in his first school. It's about his teachers, his classmates, his uh, who would take him to the school, etc. Now, there is a task in B1. It's a multiple choice question and it will indicate that will, uh, will you understand the topic or not. The question is, the passage is about. It means what the passage was describing. There is three options. Number A is who took Tarun to, the, to school the first day. It indicates that the passage is about only the person who took Tarun to the school. Number B, how Tarun felt on the first day in the school and why he felt so. Number B says that the passage was only about Tarun's feeling and the reason uh, about his feelings for the first day in his school. And the third option is what happened in the school on the first day. Well, number three indicates all of the certain things that happened in his first day at school. So, the answer probably, the answer, option C, because there is a lot of things that happened in his first day at school. His father took him to the school, it takes 15 minutes, he go to the school with a rickshaw, and his teacher was very helpful, friendly, and his teachers was, uh, and his classmates was also very friendly. So probably number C will be the right answer. Now turn to the page number 3. There is also another task in B2. The task heading is match a word from column A with a word from column B that has similar meaning. Well, there is a table uh, like this one and I made one in this blackboard, whiteboard. And there is column A and column B. There are five words with the similar meaning of the page. Now you have to match which word is similar to in column B. I am going to describe the word, the words expressing the meaning. The first word is interesting. It means the uh, entertaining, enjoying, funny, etc. The second word is frightened. It means scary or afraid of anything. And the third word is, word is happy. It's a common word and it expresses the happiness and the, uh, the glad or the joy of anyone. It also expresses cheerful. Next one is excited. It means delighted or the feeling of thrill, thrill or like you, you want to do anything very eagerly like that. And warmly means very... Um, with love or friendly, etc. Now you have to match with this word. As I say, interesting means entertaining or uh, enjoying. So probably the answer would be amusing because amusing has a similar meaning of interesting. So I'm gonna connect these two words. Afraid of anything or very scary or shocking. So, 
similar to afraid. Because afraid of anything, it means scary. Happy is joy, cheer, or glad, or happiness. So, it will be glad. Excited means uh, thrilled or eagerly to do anything, delight, etc. Similar to three. Now the last one is warmly. Warmly means friendly, amiable, and uh, a person with love to anyone. So, in lovingly, it also means the same. So, lovingly is the correct answer. So, that's it for today, and hope you all are uh, safe, safe, and happy. Goodbye.